Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this one, I want to talk about my everyday tech essentials. So, these are the tech items that I normally carry on with me on a day-to-day -day basis, mainly to work or if I'm going on a holiday or going for a long trip, these are the tech products that I normally carry. So, I have a very simple bag, you know, a hair shell backpack. And one of the main things I always walk around with is my laptop. And my laptop of choice is my MacBook M1 Air. Um, some might ask, why don't you have a Pro? I bought the M1 Air when it just came out. And since then, it's been really reliable and it's been my laptop of choice. I do want to upgrade eventually and I'm thinking of going for an M1 14 inch. But right now, it does everything I need it to do. The M1 Air has been just perfect. The only regret that I have is not upgrading the RAM in the M1 because I feel like if I want to edit and do a bit more stuff, it does slow up a bit. But if I'm just doing editing or quick edits, it's perfect. I would have gone for the 16 inch and I think that would have made the perfect computer for a long while. Eventually, I'll upgrade. Don't know when, but hopefully soon. Alongside my MacBook, more recently, I've been walking around with a Nintendo Switch. Um, sadly, I got this Switch from a dramatic event and I've just been using it now. <laughs> Don't ask me what a dramatic event is. But I've been using it now. I've been playing um, a few games on it. I've been playing Pokemon Unite and I've been playing um, Mario 3D. Hoping to get some new games for this by the end of the month. Um, if you guys have a Nintendo Switch account and want to play some games together, definitely just hit me up. Let's talk about headsets. So I normally carry my AAA modular headphones with me um, for mainly deep editing work or if I just want to listen to music and not really be disturbed. So I always have these. But along that, I have my AirPods Pro, first generation. Um, I normally use these for commuting. I don't really like wearing big headphones while going on a bus or taking a train or whatever. I feel like it's too immersive when I want to still be able to pay attention to what's going on around me. The AirPods Pro is just the best commuting headphones you can have. But in terms of doing long, deep work, I prefer to use the headphones because it doesn't cause that much air fatigue. So normally when I'm like doing deep editing work for work or if I'm editing a YouTube video per se, I'd be using these to listen to my audio qualities. Um, what else do I have in my bag? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I have my DJI Osmos Pocket. This is my go-to vlogging camera. Obviously, I have my camera here, the Fuji X-S10 for photography and like proper video work. But if I want to be discreet and just get, you know, a few short clips, then I'll use my Osmo Pocket. It's really small and it's a gimbal, so it's very steady. I can use this to get close-up shots, further away shots, and just walk around and get a few videos without anyone really noticing. And other than that, I also have what everyone should have, some form of power solution. So, a power bank. I don't know what brand this is, but it's a 15 watt power bank. You're able to connect two USBs, USB-C, and lightning cable. And I'm like, you know, get that, and the lightning cable is here, and it's kind of like that, dangly. Or, you can pull it back, and then it serves as a loop and I can attach it to something. But I just have it loose like this and I put it in my bag. And that's normally my on-the-go charging solution. I can use it to also charge my Mac, charge my headphones, charge all my, you know, stuff. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. This is my quick little video talking about my everyday tech essentials. If you have any tech essentials that you've been carrying and you want to suggest to me, you know, to look into or to get for myself, then definitely let me know. Or if you have any questions about any of the tech essential that I have, like for example, so you want to see the Osmo Pockets video footage or you want to know how much anything costs, just let me know. But I'll link everything down in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.